Look who's home. Are, you know what that that i like the beginning hold on we gonna, we gonna. hey girl welcome back to another vlog so y'all remember last week when i was like i'm about to get ready to take updated profile pictures yeah i didn't end up doing it but i'm about to do it right now so when i yeah profile pictures and like portfolio pictures so i did a full face of makeup and i really wasn't feeling it and i don't feel like i'm really feeling it for real but I need to get these pictures and stuff done because I have stuff to send. So I put on this my favorite pink coat that I cannot wait to bring out because it's almost that season. Yeah, let me hurry up and get started on taking these pictures so I can start working on my kit. Oh, I gotta download the app. Don't call me that anymore. You changed my name. You changed my name. Mm. You're good for my flesh. Mm. 
But you're not good for my purpose. You're not good for who and what God has called me to be. Have you ever made a decision? And then after you had to live with the decision that you made, you look back and say, I don't know. I don't know if that was the right choice. In the moment, I felt like this was the right decision. In the moment, that you not be trapped in that type of regret. After the firstborn got theirs. That was Are their y'all hearing this? Purpose in life. They were born. cooking breakfast but I wanted to come take my hair down real quick because it's already looking a mess like my, one of my curls messed up anyway this one came loose I guess throughout the night so I don't know what it's gonna look like but oh well at this point I have my potatoes cooking on low so they don't burn while I'm in here doing this stuff so <laughs> but it's been a really good morning so far um, I got up this morning at around like, I think it was like around 7. I usually comb them out, but I don't think I'm going to comb them out today because I feel like when I comb them out, then it's like the curls don't really last. So I'm going to just let them just do their own thing on a slide, quite frankly. I'm going to add a little oil. I was about to say, that cannot be the <laughs> girl. Somebody shout in this room. The God's about to do it. I've really been trying to keep up with this, y'all, because I do not want to put heat in my hair, but I want to make sure that I'm looking put together every single day. Okay? Because. Yeah, I just need to stay put together. But, um. Y'all, I had wait, let me go check on these potatoes, girl, before before we get the chat. Okay, we're my camera's about to go dead. I barely even filmed anything yesterday. I'll be back. Hey girl, okay, I'm back. My camera <laughs> is charged up now. But um I literally just like had I had a moment yesterday when I posted the vlog, um, the weekly vlog from last week. After posting it, like it was literally just like a few minutes later, and I just had a moment because I was just reading com the comments. And I mean, it was probably like the second or third, I don't know, it was like one of the first few comments or whatever. And it's just like I've realized that I get them so often. As soon as I post a vlog, it'll be, you know, comments like, well, you just don't know, like, how much you've inspired me to get my relationship back right or whatever with God. Or, you know, you just inspire me with my walk with Christ. And it was like I was reading it and it just hit me because it's like, wow, this is really, like, like, those type of comments are, like, answers to my prayers because... It's like confirmation to me that I am literally in his will and I am doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. And for me, it just made me have a moment because it was just like God is constantly, constantly confirming and um, affirming me and just like letting me know you're good because I'm so, I'm very big on ob obedience and making sure that you know I am doing exactly what I need to be doing for him and you know allowing myself to be used by him in every single way um, and however he needs to use me and so when I get those type of comments it's just so it, it, I'm telling y'all y'all think you do something like for y'all you understand that y'all feel like good and stuff that you may be being inspired and stuff but literally I always coming back and I'm just like glory to God because 
it's just so beautiful to be used by him and see we finna cut this conversation because i feel myself starting to get emotional <laughs> but i just really wanted to talk about it because god is so that's just so good he is just so good and i'm just so grateful to be used by him but yeah so what's today today is it's thursday and i'm currently um on my laptop i just got my laptop out because i'm on my computer right now because i have to make selections for um revolve for this month for the pieces that i um want or whatever so that's what i'm about to do right now and then i already like responded to emails and stuff this morning i was really on it this morning like when this morning when i got up you know i had my devotional time and stuff like that and then i also just went back and started back i went through like comments or whatever from even older videos and just commented back because i've gained like quite a few new supporters here recently and i don't think i realized it because it was a lot of comments that i was coming back to that was just like new subscriber new subscriber and i'm just like oh lord i i don't like missing those because i like to you know acknowledge the fact that you have joined us over here so it was a lot of those that i committed back to but it was just so many comments that i just I, Lord, I know I, I've been saying this a lot lately, but it's so, I just really do love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much. Um, and I just love the community that we have over here and just how positive everybody is and how uplifting. Like I even get DMs, I get messages. It's just crazy to me how people on social media can be rooting for you so hard um that literally don't even know you you know like the people people on social media root for you harder than people in real life like people that <laughs> that's a whole nother topic but it's just crazy to me so i literally appreciate y'all so much but i'm about to make these selections like i said so i can go ahead and get these out of the way and then um there's really not much that I'm doing today other than this. I didn't end up going to church yesterday, obviously, as y'all seen, but I ended up joining into a Bible study instead because I haven't been on Bible study in a couple of weeks because I'd be at church. But I went ahead and joined Bible study last night and it went really, really great. So I hope that y'all enjoyed that we, we watched Bible study together or whatever. That is the Bible study that I was playing in the background of like one of the uh, vlogs that I got a lot of questions about when I was working out. And I was listening to Bible study. That's the church. That's the pastor. Um, so I will leave it linked in the description box if y'all want to go and listen to the full thing on your own or whatever. But yeah, that went really, really great. I feel like it was something else that I wanted to talk to y'all about, but I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm forgetting. I don't know. But let me make these selections and then I'll come back if I remember. Because I really, really feel like it was something specific that I wanted to talk to y'all about. But I'm not remembering it right now. Y'all, wait. Because why did I totally forget that my light has lights on it? Like... And I just plugged it in. I told the lights are sitting here in my face. And it's Bluetooth. I don't know if it's charged up now. Oh, it is. Okay, wait, let's see. What is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Blue. I need to charge up. Yeah, I got a charge up. We'll play with that again later. <laughs> Let me make these selections.
Okay, y'all, I'm starting to get ready. I don't even know what this ankle looks like. But I turned on my light. Let me see if I can connect to the Bluetooth. She's pretty charged up. Let's see what it's giving. I'm about to go pick up Braxton. Oh, it's connected. This wasn't a part of the plan. I didn't plan on him coming back spoiled. And now he know doggone well. He know doggone well. He don't sit in my lap while I'm driving. He sits over there in his seat. Do y'all see him? Do y'all? I don't even know if y'all can see him. Look, look where he at. We about to head to the park now. Since I'm already out, I may as well. So that's why I went ahead and just kind of put on something chill. So we about to go to the park, go on a walk real quick. Cause I really enjoyed my walk last week. Um, it was just really, really fulfilling, I feel like. And yeah, this time we have breaks with us. So it should be fine. So I will see y'all did you miss mommy? Oh, I miss my baby so much. <laughs> Why well, I feel like I'm about to cry. <laughs> Mama's baby is home. Now me and Mama's baby are gonna go on our walk together. And my belief, hey, that he will do it again. You made a way. Come on. Gave me beauty for ashes. You're so cute. up the mess drop it in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe spinning through identity reveal another pretty little scheme save her mind Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach, like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within a column as the leader. Y'all, a butterfly just landed on me and it kept on. <laughs> Come on, Bryce. This brings back old memories. We used to have cheer practice down here. I think he's ready to go home. He probably needs some water because usually I have this little um, bowl where I can put his water and stuff in when we're out on walks and stuff, but I love it. I'm about to go to the store real quick. And then we're going home so that you can get you some um, fluids. Get your water. You being such a good baby though. I like it. You being such a good baby. I'm so proud. So proud of you. You didn't even cut up at the park. Like, y'all, usually at the park when he sees people, he like gets really, really excited and will kind of run off. But like people were walking really, really close to us and he was still just kind of just being normal. Like he wasn't getting as hyper as he usually does. Proud mama. It's already getting better. 
good morning i haven't talked to y'all in so long <laughs> so sorry but um it is wednesday today um i have a couple of things that i wanted to get done it's officially 10 weeks before my 23rd birthday so we're back at the gym it's nine well i should say 10 o'clock now i guess you should say should say because it's 9 55 10 weeks i've calculated 10 weeks before my birthday so i'm about to be consistent with wearing my retainers like i'm supposed to be wearing them every night <laughs> we're about to be we're about to be consistent in the gym and also eating habits i'm trying to refrain from just feeding into or indulging in all of my cravings and trying to just have a little bit more discipline with my cravings because y'all i have a lot of cravings and i just be hungry i be hungry a lot and it's like i'm never really not hungry you know like every second every hour of the day i could be eating something so i just really want to start disciplining myself more and really just eating when i know i actually need to eat and eating you know healthy um and just watching what i eat and what i'm putting into my body more because i mean i am getting older and i think it's really really important to take care of your health especially your inner health so um yeah i just really want to start doing that and also i want to start i'm doing a lot of research or doing some research on what supplements and stuff i should be taking i feel like i really need to start taking vitamin d i feel like i may i don't know but i just feel like a lot of things that i may i see um a lot of times it kind of leads back or if i look it up it kind of leads back to low vitamin d levels so i know for a fact that's one of the supplements that i do want to look into and i want to find like a good one that i can start taking so yeah i'm about to go into the gym today i'm probably not really going to take y'all with me or y'all probably won't see much because just for the first day i don't know i just really felt like getting on the stairmaster so i'm probably just going to try and i'm going to have to push myself i know because the stairmaster is something that you like work your way up on you know with the time but just because since that's really the only thing that i plan on doing for today um i want to just do about 30 minutes on the stairmaster just you know first day back and i plan on being consistent so i feel like it's better to just do you know the stairmaster than go straight into you know my like heavy weights and stuff like that so yeah it's 9 58 right now so we're gonna go in here it should be a real quick simple day i know i'll be in here for a long time when i'm doing real workouts but we're not doing i mean not a stairmaster we're not gonna play it down we're not gonna <laughs> you know because we know how the stairmaster can do you but y'all get what i'm saying so let me go in here and get this over with um and then i'll catch back in or check back in with y'all whenever we come out What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow, staring out the window, trying to stop for a sign. It's the reason why. And just like that, day one. It's done. I think I'm about to start a countdown on my phone just because like I really want to hold myself to this to like really really be consistent um these 10 weeks and just see like I just want to see what consistency can do. I've seen what it can do one time but I really wasn't paying attention to it you know I was just like doing it I was just going but I wasn't I just realized what it can do afterwards you know like I wasn't actually watching it but it was just like after i stopped being in the gym and i'm a little bit out of breath after i stopped being in the gym i look back at my pictures and I, I can look back at my pictures now and just see like my progress pictures and it's just like wow if i had been consistent since this year like because this is really when i started my fitness journey for real for real like around this time last year if i had been consistent throughout this whole time can we just imagine like can we just imagine? So, yeah, I think I want to start like a countdown on my phone um, just to see. And just something else that will kind of, I feel like, hold me to what I'm saying, you know? 
so yeah i'm about to go home shower freshen up and stuff it's wednesday so i didn't go to church last week but i'm gonna go tonight and honestly i realized like after and i think it's because of me drinking the water too i don't think it's because i worked out because i feel like me working out would actually make me hungry but i feel like when i'm working out i'm also drinking more water that's one thing that i have noticed like i was getting a lot of water intake when i was working out last year around this time or whatever and I do get a lot of more water in whenever I'm working out. And I think that drinking more water also kind of aids in cravings and you know, your appetite and stuff like that. And I just feel like I'm really not all that hungry. Like I feel like right now, cause all I had this morning was two boiled eggs and two boiled eggs, babes, <laughs> babes. I would have been ready to have about three more things by now <laughs> you know and I'm really not even hungry right now I'm good <laughs> all right class is in session as I said before I was asked to do a tutorial on how I do my nails so y'all these are my natural nails I have been growing them out since January and I just do a dip powder set on top of them basically so um, if they do break, then you will see me. I will add a tip, but these are my nails. So I'm going in with a drill bit to basically just remove the shine from my natural nail um, where the dip has grown out, of course, because I'm basically going to be doing like a overlay or fill in, so to speak. But it's not really a fill in because when you're doing a fill in, you're only filling in the top. But with dip, you're literally doing the whole entire nail. So, um, I'm removing the shine with my drill and I'm using, um, I believe this is a medium sanding band. I will have all of the products listed in the description box. They're all listed on my Amazon storefront because if you didn't know, I was a nail tech. So, all of my products I really got um, from Amazon while I was doing nails. I mean, as far as, you know, tools and things like that. So I'm going in and just shaping once I've removed all the shine or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and just shape the nails and I'm using a 180, I believe, um, file. And you can see here one is shaped and then I'm going to go in and use the file instead of the drill on my opposite or non-dominant hand because some days I be feeling, you know, big and bad and i'll use my drill but other days i'm like no i'm just using the file because it doesn't take as long because i have to be really really careful when i'm using a drill with my non-dominant hand because i don't want to cut myself so now i'm just gonna go ahead and add a tip because this nail did end up breaking and i'm just gonna cut it down to the length of the rest of my nails i believe i did cut this one a little bit longer just because my opposite hand is longer than this hand right here that i'm working on and i'm like you know what it'll just match the other hand but that's why i said i'm gonna be cutting my nails down next time i do them to just go with my short and square because i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm starting to get a little tired of this shape <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and shade that, and I'm so sorry that I am out of frame in some pieces, but I'm just shaping it just like the rest of my nails. Okay, so now that all of that is done, nails are prepped and ready to go ahead and begin the dent process. I'm going in with, I will be going in with actually three. One of the acrylics that I use is not in the frame right now, but I went in with three different powders just to get the perfect color and I still didn't even come out with the color that I was desiring. But I'm using this uh, dip set that I got off of Amazon, like I said, will be linked in my description box. Um, it comes with the whole entire set. So I have the activator, top and base coat, and also a brush cleaner. I think that's a bit extra. But the, the brush cleaner is basically just to clean your brush in case it starts to get build up of the powders because you are going over a loose powder when you're doing a dip set. So I went ahead and basically did, I believe, three to four layers, um, two of the uh, first color and then one of each of the second colors that I used. So this is just a really, really quick and easy process. 
you're literally just dipping your nail in tapping it off and then you're gonna go in with the activator to quickly dry the powder down um, and then they do have a top coat in the set but I go in with my own gel polish top coat because I don't really like um, dip powder top coats because I feel like I get chips and cracks way too soon and easy. So, of course, after I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in and shape up the nails again because now you have the powder and everything and you don't want to just go straight in with a top coat after applying um, your powder and everything or you're just going to have some bulky nails and that's going to look a mess. So you have to go back in of course and file that down and reshape it. So that's just what I'm doing here. So once they're all shaped, I'm going to go in with this antibiotic spray that I got from Sally's, but I'll see if I can find it on Amazon. And I'm just going to basically clean my nails, you know, make sure that all the dust and everything is out of my cuticles before I go in with my gel top coat. And I got this from Amazon as well. So I didn't end up getting a video of the finishing look, but I did end up doing my toes too this day. So this is how my toes came out, and this is a picture of my nails. Okay, so nails and toes are done. Um, I mean, they cool, whatever. Next time though, I think I'm going ahead and cutting them down because they're getting really, really long. I think I may go short and square next time when I do my nails, just because like I haven't had short and square in a while. And I feel like, you know, my nails grew, they didn't grow well. No, that's kind of like throughout this year. I kind of, I started growing them. I had to grow them back at the beginning of this year, I believe that was. But I mean, it's nails. It'll, they'll grow just like here. So yeah, I think I want to, I want to cut them. And if I want some length, I mean, I can get tips added on to them, so. But the only thing about that is I do like having my own nails be this long because I don't really have to worry about them cracking and breaking and going through, you know, those split nail, I don't know, what would you call them? Traumas? Because, <laughs> girl, when your nails split, babes, oh, or crack with long nails, that's like the worst thing ever. I wouldn't wish that on my worst thing, like, no. But I'm headed to church now. Nails and toes are done. I filmed a little video. I'm trying to see if I want to put, like, because I was asked to do um, a tutorial of how I do my nails and add it into the vlog. But I'm trying to see if I want to add it into the vlog or just put it into its own video. Because, I mean, people who may not watch, like, long vlogs or whatever may want to see something like that. So, I don't know. I'm just really trying to decide if I want that footage to go in if it did then y'all would have seen it by now and if it didn't then it's in its own separate video my toes look so cute i've literally been sticking with the same color these past few months and i think it's just gonna be my color until i find a new color that i just really really love i'm just gonna stick with the same thing and i really want to find a color that i want to stick with on my nails as well just because i feel like you know i have my signature toe color and i feel like i need something for my nails Something that's a little bit more like transparent because I don't really like opaque colors on my nails, you know, like solid colors. I don't know. I just really like naturals. So I need to find like the perfect natural. I was saying I wanted to order um, OPI's bubble bath and it was a couple other like neutral colors that um, I found on TikTok and like Pinterest and stuff that I feel like I want to order. So I definitely want to find like my signature nail color by the time I do my nails next time since I'm going to be cutting them down, doing a new shape. I want to have my, you know, color or whatever together. But y'all, my skin is looking so good. I washed my face with, face with baking soda last night because I seen a girl do it on TikTok and she was just like, in front of you, you have some stubborn dark marks or something. And the people in the comments was like, yes. So I'm like, oh, okay, people really be doing this. So I washed my face last night with baking soda. But I mean, it was looking good before then, but I still just wanted like an extra, you know. Cause I'm probably do like a side by side of how good, how much progress we've made because y'all, my skin has started cutting
in a bad what was that in May I believe I think that was in May or June girl my skin started acting like it ain't have no home training like what are you doing we've been on the road since last time this year skin was looking bomb and then it started just uh -huh, cutting up but it's getting back together so I'm a happy girl <laughs> But yeah, I'm headed to church right now, so I will probably just check in with y'all tomorrow because obviously, as we know, ain't nothing going on after church. So. But I'm headed out y'all and I'm still looking the same. I haven't washed my hair yet I plan on washing my hair and putting in the mask before I reseal press it or whatever um, So I'm probably end up doing that tonight I still gotta go to the gym today too though But I'm head. Oh no that is cute I'm headed to go and drop these clothes off really quick And then I also have to go to the store What was I really coming on here to tell y'all though? A lot of my footage that I've been getting has been for other videos. So I'm sorry. The vlog is really catching the bad end of the stick this week. I'm not even going to hold you. But I'll take y'all with me to go work out tonight because my camera got to charge up. So I'll see y'all later on. I guess I'll vlog on my phone just so I'm not leaving y'all hanging too bad. But I just dropped some stuff off at Play-Dohs because I'm finally really, really clear now. Like, I know I've been doing it, like, you know, a little bit here and there. No. I'm really, really getting on it because I'm going to do it. It's going to be, like, a longer, in-depth video on the reasoning and stuff like that. But, yeah, just know I'm really, really, like, starting to, like, clear out and stuff and get rid of stuff. And it's so crazy because last week's sermon, Pastor talked about how, like, you may need to, you have to clear out in order for God to, you know, may need to move stuff out the way so that God can place the stuff that you need or that you, you know, your desire or whatever um, in your life. You may have to clear out first. You may need to declutter. So, yeah, that kind of just sums it up a bit. But um, now I'm about to go and I'm about to go to UPS because um, I had got something from... A couple of my pieces no actually it's just two things from revolve that i got that i'm shipping back to them so i'm about to do that and then and then today is thursday tomorrow i have like i separated all of my stuff some stuff is going to play though some stuff is going to i don't think i have a, a bag for goodwill actually i have a lot of other clothes that i need to go through I'm gonna go through that at, at a different. I'm gonna probably go through that stuff tomorrow. But I basically separated the stuff out. It was some stuff that's going to play those and some stuff that I want to take to like a women's and or like young girls type of shelter type place. So I still have that bag in my trunk that I want to take to like a shelter or whatever. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I need to ship these back. Hey, girl. It is Friday. And I mean, I really don't even have to brush these lashes out. Or there's really no need to even much brush these lashes out because... Because I plan on taking them off. I just don't know how yet. But I washed my hair last night. I still have conditioner in it right now. And I'm gonna leave the conditioner in there. I'm going to the gym. I gotta eat breakfast and everything still. But I just wanted to come on here and show y'all that I did end up washing my hair. I left the conditioner in there. I probably should've went ahead and just put on my uh, jacket that I'm gonna wear. And I'm gonna claw clip it up. There we go. I've been looking for my deodorant. Yes, claw clipping it will be the best option. It's still pretty wet. That's a good thing because my hair, well, it's like my hair is wet, but my scalp is really what needs to be wet. That's the part that needs to be wet because that's how you get the hydration. Like water is how you get your hydration for your hair. It's not oils. And what I've learned is, and I'm pretty sure that's probably why I'd be struggling with having a dry scalp because my hair literally barely even, my scalp barely gets the water even when I'm washing my hair. Like this part of the ends and stuff of my hair can be all types of wet, but... 
I don't feel like my hair soaks in the water and that's some type of I think that has something to do with like your porosity levels or something like that like high porosity hair and low porosity or something like that I don't know I'm pretty sure that's what it is I'm gonna have to do some more research because I think it helps to use products that are structured or you know like suited for that level of hair so once I find out which one mine is then I can do research on products that are best for it and then also you know I have to go into looking at the ingredients and stuff and making sure so yeah I just really want to get into you know putting a little bit more effort into the products that I'm using because I have been sticking to the same products for my hair because they're good for my skin I don't they don't break me out I don't have reactions in my skin it doesn't like flare up or whatever whenever I wash my hair or whatever so that's why I've just been sticking to the same products but I want to Find some products that are actually good for my hair too and good for like my scalp care. So my lashes are looking a absolute hot mess. So I need to take them off because I'm not getting them redone. So I need to take them off because this is where I be like, uh uh, we ain't gonna get, we ain't gonna um, be looking crazy by the eyes. Let me go in here and make breakfast. Oh, and my chest is starting to clear up, y'all. I'm so happy. I was using tea tree oil as like, um, I've been using tea tree oil as a spot treatment too. And I had this like really inflamed little under the skin like bump right here. And I put tea tree oil on it. And it really went down. And it's so crazy because I've had a tea tree oil for like two years now. And I don't know. I thought that like it broke me out or something. But I see like I don't need to just use it all over my face or anything like that only at the spot treatment <laughs> so and i've been using it on this eyebrow because this eyebrow needs to grow out and i think it's definitely been doing justice i got that tip from Devin. so yeah i was up to four o'clock last night i'm still talking to y'all but i was up to four o'clock last night redoing my um my phone like my home screen and stuff and i came up with a different idea of how i want to utilize my backup instagram page so I'm kind of just going to use it like as a gallery page. You know how people have like a dump page or archives. I'm going to use it kind of like a gallery. So it's just going to be like Sean's gallery. So yeah, follow that if you want to see pictures that, uh, pictures that don't make it to the main page basically or throwbacks, um, Christian posts or I don't know why y'all, I don't know why I like hate. I'm not gonna say hate but I just don't I don't know I just don't really like Christian I don't like the titles I don't like no not that I'm saying I don't like being called a Christian but I'm talking about when it comes to like social media you know like I don't know I don't like like calling it that cuz I don't know I feel like the motives kind of get a little or people sometimes it's not the person that's actually doing it but people kind of look at it as you know I don't know hopefully y'all get, hopefully y'all get where I'm coming from without saying too much hopefully y'all get what I'm trying to say so yeah I just really don't because I don't know it's just like I will never label label myself as a Christian influence or anything like I know I've seen TikToks of people you know making like videos or whatever of like Chris, their favorite Christian influencers and stuff like that and that's absolutely fine with um somebody else you know labeling me as that or whatever because you know that I'm glad that it's you know how you're labeling me of course but I would just never call myself that because it's not like it's not like that's the goal or anything I'm literally just um what's the word sharing my journey like i've been doing my whole entire social media career it's just that this is where i am in my life right now and i'm just i mean i've been sharing my life any other time and i'm still sharing it now so it's like i just don't label myself as that but that's just how how it's going that's just what my life is now you get what i'm saying so i've been babbling on for seven minutes straight let me go eat my hair looks like something i can't think of what it looks like though but i just put up at this gas station so that i can vacuum out my car and also so that i can go ahead and drink my energy drink before i get to the gym and it can already be like kicked in or whatever so um i picked up the kim k alani 
I really don't even drink energy drinks, but I did. I can I always remember the one time I did drink an energy drink, and it was a Alani, like at the beginning of my fitness journey last year. And I just remember looking back at that day in the gym, and I was really going crazy. And I don't think I realized until like a while after, like, oh, that's what energy drinks do. But yeah, I got this, so I'm about to drink this and vacuum out my car. But I want a picture of it first, cause. So aesthetically pleasing, isn't it? Cheers. Babe, I'm over here trying to get content. You know, just sipping for the content. I'm finna sip it down. Kim. Kim, girl. <laughs> we see why the girls love it like what I need a whole box girl that drink gonna be gone real quick let me get the let me get the uh, vacuuming out of this car Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny yeah. No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you Walking by the flesh, that's when I live. God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to meet with Saint and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me. At least we got to sweat today. Oh, this way. I just can't go there. Uh-uh. The clip won't take advantage of the past game on you. I'm feeling too ashy, and I don't think I have my lotion. Anyways, good morning, y'all. Obviously, as y'all can see, my hair is still not done. Um, I ended up just putting it up in a bun last night because I was like, I didn't really have the energy to do. I was supposed to edit yesterday and everything, but I didn't even edit yesterday. So, you know, I definitely didn't do a whole silk press and curl all that on my hair yesterday. So, yeah, we just got the natural this morning. Um, <laughs> Y'all know a bun used to be like my go-to look. I used to always, always wear my hair in a bun. But um, I'm at McDonald's right now getting something to drink real quick before I go get to church. 
I really thought I was about to be early this morning because I was done. I was ready. Like before 8 o'clock. It's 8.41. I think when I'm, like, it doesn't even matter. If I get done early or on time, my brain just starts thinking, you know, maybe a different outfit would be better. Well, I'm not even gonna say outfit. I kept the same top and shoes. I just kept on changing pants. Like, no matter of fact, I kept on changing shoes too. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to put on heels or not. But, yeah. Um... Babes, I, I came over here because the line wasn't long and there's nobody here. Come on now. Y'all, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm not one of those girls that's like really, really into football. Like I'll claim I go for a team. Or I'll go for a team. Let's see, what teams have I claimed? Okay, I claimed Auburn up until like my senior year of high school. Then I, was that my senior year? If you're from Bama, don't come for me because I know how y'all Alabama fans like to tussle. And like, it's just really, really, like, it's so serious. Like, Auburn and Alabama. But I ended up going from Auburn to Alabama, but that's only because I actually ended up knowing people like on the Alabama team. So then that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for Alabama or whatever because I will, my senior year, I knew people on the Auburn team too, but I knew the people. I was closest to the people that played for Bama or whatever. So then I switched over to going for Bama. So, and then sometimes I'll even say like, I don't go for the whole team. I just go for the people that play on the team. Like I'm just rooting for them, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah, that's kind of like still to this day cause uh, one is still on the team. But last night I was on TikTok and I'm just watching like TikToks and I found myself getting so hyped watching a little quick <laughs> videos of Colorado playing. And I'm not, it's not even the fact that I know people, it's probably gonna be a lot of people, you know, all of a sudden being Colorado fans and stuff like that, just because of the hype around it. But it's just, I don't know. It's just, I love the, like coach be saying, like they got that dog in them. Like, I just like that. I don't know. And I found myself so hyped when they got that. Good morning. I got you. What? Your prep paint? You look like, I don't know what cream. Oh, I didn't even see that for real. You yeah. good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do good cream either. No, you good. Chick-fil-A would have just wiped it off with the top. They make it over? Yeah. They, they be mixing it up so you can't tell. Like we started. I see you. <laughs> myself to be really being a fan <laughs> not I'm a fan I have me a football team now so when people ask me who I go for I go for Colorado I go for Colorado and a side of Alabama <laughs> you know the Alabama part is, is uh, selective but my brother is a Alabama fan bad girl I hate I'm not gonna say hate because that's a strong word, but you do not want to be in the room on a Saturday when Bama is playing with my brother. You don't. For one, he think he the coach. 
and Bama fans just in general, like I've realized like I feel like Bama has the worst fan base. I feel like they have the worst supporters. Because I was reading the comments on their game last night. It was like a clip on Instagram and I was reading the comments. And it's like I'm pretty Bama won last night, I'm pretty sure. And it's like they won, but the comments were still bad. Like, their fans are so... I cannot think of the word. I want to say criticism, but that's not it. I can't think of the word, but they're very... They just mean. Like, they won, but the comments were still saying, this was such a terrible game. Um, They were like... I seen somebody like, please delete this. Like, they're just so mean even if they win like their fans just so have so much to say and it is the fact that it's their fans you know and it's just like jeez just calm down and then it's to the point I, what I don't like is how are you a fan but if they play a bad game or say somebody on the team does something that may cost the cost the team the game or whatever why why are people getting death threats why are people getting death threats like it's never that deep it's never that deep i was like mm -mm, i don't i don't want them type of supporters baby you can't you only want the, i was just about to say you only want to be with me when i'm when i'm up and when i win but i can't even say that because they still be mad even when they win like they got to play at a hundred percent they got a I don't know I don't know what type of athletes oh no matter of fact I don't know what type of human beings Alabama fans be wanting on that field <laughs> I don't understand like they want superhumans that's perfect okay and me personally I'm just glad I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta deal with it. Mojo, come on. Yeah. If it go in it. If it make cuts. You ready? Yeah, actually, I'm not gonna sit down either. Okay. Oh, and scoop back. You know, like how he had showed you that angle, like where it'd be like. I think I'm supposed to be standing a little bit. further up, and you supposed to be a little bit. Okay, come on. We got. Try to try to do it. Like, you gotta be like, what's up, Sean? You gotta that be, that be, that be you gotta take criticism with. No, I do. I just don't want you to watch me. I'll get it together, like, without you watching. So, so how, can you, how can you be critiqued about it? I guess it's she'll, come show, she'll come show you, and then you tell her what I need to fix, and I'll fix it. But you just don't be watching. Because it's like I just feel like I'm being come watched. Come on, bro. We got 10 minutes, so we got to get in the sanctuary. We got to do intro and outro. You got the two. Look, look, look. He holding us up, so if we don't get, get it, it, he's holding us up. One, two. Alright, and go. Oh uh, man, hold up, start over. You know how I do with the love. Mm -hmm. Walk into it, and yeah. walk up. And you tell me when you're going, but I'm not really starting. Yes, ma'am. Ready? Ooh, girl. We're going. You better get ready for your TV show. What's good, family? Uh, I didn't even have my script together. What am I saying today? Should I say the same thing? We're going to say, join us. We live. Let's rock. What you want? What's good, family? I am so excited to be at church today. I hope that you're excited to join us for this worship experience. So click the link and join us. Now he said, I just joined nice. So straight. Oh, man. I'm going to cut that out. I don't like this background. Yeah. Or you can sit right here. Do you want that in the, in the shot? What? Like that bench right there in the shot. Yeah. 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 Y
I think she should be sitting down, acting like you like off focus, and then you look at the camera, get up, and then walk this way and act like you when you're telling them to come join us, that's when you walk off like you walk into church. But he has something to do first. Now them folks gonna be like <laughs> It's real lit now. Right. They jamming. I'm gonna be like, good morning, get ready to <laughs> You know, because they watching on right now. You know, right. What you mean? What you mean? Keep looking down. So then, when I go like this, you look this way. You start talking. Get down, and then you walk like you're going into the church. You get it? Like the shot would be you basically working on the computer, right? What's good, family? All right, worship just went live. I hope that you are. Mm, you know what? That that I like the beginning. Hold on, we go, we go. <laughs> All right, family, worship is going live right now. I hope to see you there. So make sure that you click that link and join us for worship today. Okay, I like it too. All right, I'll show you. You got your words ready?